Good morning everyone and welcome to our service of morning worship this morning. It's been a cold week over the past week, hasn't it? But we come in the warmth of the love of God and to worship him and to praise his name. And so let us begin. Blessed are you, sovereign God, creator of all, to you be glory and praise for ever. You founded the earth in the beginning, and the heavens are the work of your hands. In the fullness of time you made us in your image, and in these last days you have spoken to us in your Son, Jesus Christ, the Word made flesh. As we rejoice in the gift of your presence among us, let the light of your love always shine in our hearts. Your Spirit ever renew our lives, and your praises ever be on our lips. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God for ever. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and for ever. Amen. Our psalm appointed for this morning is psalm number 108, psalm 108. My heart is ready, O God, my heart is ready, I will sing and give you praise. Awake, my soul, awake, harp and lyre, that I may awaken the dawn. I will give you thanks, O Lord, among the peoples, I will sing praise to you among the nations, for your loving kindness is as high as the heavens and your faithfulness reaches to the clouds. Be exalted, O God, above the heavens, and your glory over all the earth. Let your beloved may be delivered. Save us by your right hand, and answer me. God has spoken in his holiness. I will triumph and divide Shechem, and share out the valley of Succoth. Gilead is mine, and Manasseh is mine. Ephraim is my helmet, and Judah my scepter. Moab shall be my washpot. Over Edom will I cast my sandal. Across Philistia will I shout in triumph. Who will lead me into the strong city? Who will bring me into Edom? Have you not cast us off, O God? Will you no longer go forth with our troops? O grant us your help against the enemy, for earthly help is in vain. Through God we will do great acts. For it is he that shall tread down our enemies. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. A song of deliverance. All the earth shout and sing for joy, for great in your midst is the Holy One. Behold, God is my salvation. I will trust and will not be afraid. For the Lord God is my strength and my song and has become my salvation. With joy you will draw water from the wells of salvation. On that day you will say, Give thanks to the Lord, call upon his name. Make known his deeds among the nations. Proclaim that his name is exalted. Sing God's praises, who has triumphed gloriously. Let this be known in all the world. Shout and sing for joy, you that dwell in Zion, for great in your midst is the Holy One of Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. All the earth, shout and sing for joy, for great in your midst is the Holy One. Our scripture reading this morning is from 1 Corinthians chapter 9. And beginning to read at verse 15, Paul is trying to justify his working for the gospel without any payment in co contrast to the various different people who were coming round with all their odd ideas. And he reminds us that being a Christian is something that actually demands a discipline and it demands work and it demands our commitment to the Lord Jesus and our commitment to his service. If you are reading the Old Testament readings, then today's reading is Hosea, the prophecy of Hosea, chapter 2 and verses 18 to chapter 3 at the end. 
But for now, 1 Corinthians chapter 9 and verse 15. Paul says, I have not used any of my rights, and I'm not writing this in the hope that you will do such things for me. I would rather die than have anyone else deprive me of this boast. Yet when I preach the gospel, I cannot boast, for I am compelled to preach. Woe to me if I do not preach the gospel. If I preach voluntarily, I have a reward. If not voluntarily, I am simply discharging the trust committed to me. What then is my reward? Just this, that in preaching the gospel I may offer it free of charge, and so not make, me, make use of my rights in preaching it. Though I am free and belong to no man, I make myself a slave to everyone, to win as many as possible. To the Jews I became like a Jew, to win the Jews. To those under the law I became like one under the law, though I myself am not under the law, so as to win those under the law. To those not having the law, I became like one not having the law, though I am not free from God's law, but am under Christ's law, so as to win those not having the law. To the weak I became weak, to win the weak. I have become all things to all men, so that by all possible means I might save some. I do this for the sake of the gospel, that I may share in its blessings. Do you not know that in a race all the runners run, but only one gets the prize? Run in such a way as to get the prize. Everyone who competes in the games goes into strict training. They do it to get a crown that will not last, but we do it to get a crown that will last forever. Therefore I do not run like a man running aimlessly. I do not fight like a man beating the air. No, I beat my body and make it my slave, so that after I have preached to others, I myself will not be disqualified for the prize. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and be not wise in your own sight. In all your ways acknowledge him, and he will make straight your paths. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and be not wise in your own sight. In our Gospel canticle, we worship the Lord. You have set us free to worship without fear, holy and righteous in your sight. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He's raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors, and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. You have set us free to worship you without fear, holy and righteous in your sight. And now let us pray together. In the prayers for today, we pray, first of all, the special prayer appointed for this week. Almighty God, whose Son revealed in signs and miracles the wonder of your saving presence, renew your people with your heavenly grace, and in all our weakness sustain us by your mighty power. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. And in our prayers, 
We come before God with all our variety of different feelings, all our variety of different concerns. We have problems within community, within family. We have illness, we have bereavement. We have just difficulties. We pray especially for those who are affected by the fuel costs and the increasing prices in the shops. We pray for those who are badly affected by the heating costs and all the planning that's involved in trying to economise. And there's the price of raw materials and, and their availability. And we're finding that in the shops, aren't we? And we pray for those who are hungry, for those who are homeless, especially in these very cold days. We above all, we pray for those who are persecuted because they belong to Jesus. Especially we pray for those who are imprisoned in China and in North Korea just because they belong to Jesus. There are so many in the African countries who are persecuted because they belong to Jesus and are seeking to serve him. And so we pray for organisations like Tear Fund and Barnabas Fund and Open Doors and all these variety of different organisations that set out to help. And we pray for the many agencies that are involved in bringing relief and help in the midst of climate change. We pray too for our community, for the places where we live and work. We also pray for our families, with much concern regarding illness, and various conditions and problems. There have been bereavements and there are people who are sad, people who are lonely, people whose lives have been changed. And we commend them to the love of our Heavenly Father. And so let us by prayer and intercession with thanksgiving make our requests to God. Dear gracious God, we pray for peace and justice and reconciliation throughout the world. We pray for the honouring of human rights and for the relief of the oppressed. And we give thanks for all that is gracious in the lives of people, men, women and children. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for the renewal of the church in faith, in love and in service. We pray for the building up of congregations and for the renewal of life and worship and service after all that we have been through over these past couple of years. We pray for our bishop and for our leadership and for the life of our local church and parish and for the various churches within our community. We give thanks, Father, for the gift of your word Thank you that it's always there for our comfort and our strength. And thank you for the message of Jesus, our Saviour, our Lord, our Master, the one who brings eternal life. We thank you for the grace of, this, of the communion services and we thank you for the fellowship of your people. We give you praise. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for our local community, for all the people in their daily work and their daily lives. We pray for the young people, for the elderly people, for those who are limited in their abilities, for families, for all who are alone. And Lord, we give you thanks for human skill and creativity and all that reveals your creativity and your loveliness within your work. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. 
And we pray for all who are in need, for those who are sick, the sorrowful, the bereaved. We pray for all who bring comfort and care and healing. We give thanks for human love and friendship and for all that enriches our daily life. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And so we commend ourselves and all for whom we pray to the mercy and protection and the love of God. And we commend ourselves to our Heavenly Father in the words that Jesus himself taught us to pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. The Lord our God, as with all creation, we offer you the life of this new day. Give us grace to love and serve you to the praise of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And so may the Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. We wish you well this day. Pray for God's blessing upon you. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord.